Hi, this is Bill Barnett. Today we're in Phuket Town for an exciting episode of Thai Road Trip from C9 Hotel Works and Delivering Asia Communications. I'm with Luca Dote, who's the founder and MD of Homa. Luca, welcome. Thank you, Bill. Good to see you. Now, Luca, co-living. I'm a hotel guy. I get, you know, hoteliers love to pocket things and say hotels, service departments, uh, hostels. Exactly what is co-living in the Homa context? So co-living stands for community living, is a property designed for long-term stays, uh, although we accommodate also, also for short-term stays. And um, every apartment is independent, but we have amazing facilities and uh, incredible services that allow to drive community across the uh, tenants. So we allow tenants to get to know each other, we promote events, we promote networking, and uh, we are similar to a service apartment, but we are more affordable. We are not really a condo because you know we control the whole property and we can really drive all the community events and the initiatives that we want across the building. And uh, so it's kind of an hybrid, but the concept really is uh, community and having people live a better life in the community that we create in the, in the building. Okay, the property opening in Phuket, the first one in Phuket yep. coming up later this year. Yep. Phuket Town, how important is Phuket Town to, or going local? Phuket Town is super important because, uh, again, it's uh, full of uh, um, young professionals working and living in, uh, in Phuket Town. And, uh, and that's the demographics that we want to attract. So uh, Thai young professionals is uh, really our main target. Uh, there will be obviously also expats and digital nomads joining in and using for facilities such as the co-working space. But being in Phuket Town is very important. And you know, during p the pandemic, you know, we have really seen uh, the resilience of a place like Phuket Town, which is this bustling. Everything is open, and people are you know living you know the life that we were living before. Obviously, it's not a difficult, it's not an easy time for for Phuket. But uh, Phuket Town is very lively. I think it's an important question about how, how is the social experience coming out of COVID-19, going through the pandemic? I know yeah. when you go around and you go to bars and restaurants, people like getting back together. Do you think we're going to return to that or how is our lifestyle going to change? I think, yes, we're going to go back together. People are really like looking forward to you know, catching up again and be social. At the same time, we believe that you know, co-living needs to evolve. So the common concept of co-living is like really sharing kitchens and sharing even private spaces. We develop a co-living 2.0 in which each apartment is independent. So it's basically privacy when you need it and community when you want it. Okay, great. So when can I stay on the home in Phuket Town? Starting October, you're very welcome. Okay, great. This has been another trip of Thai road trip. Again, this is a great thing. Phuket Town, we're seeing a great renaissance and walking through the streets, there's a real buzz. One thing during the pandemic is we've seen a lot more domestic travelers coming back and really experiencing Phuket. This has been one of the areas seeing much more liveliness than other areas across the island. Again, this is Bill Barnett from Thai Road Trip from C9 Hotel Works and Delivering Asia Communications. And please subscribe to our YouTube channel. Until next time, see you later.